Hi everybody. Firstly, let me welcome you all to the Caterpillar Book Club. In a pursuit to bring interesting stories, books and their authors, I decided today to bring to you some very interesting facts about the author Stanley Woolpert and two of his books. Rather, two of his banned books. The first being Jinnah of Pakistan, which is a biography published in 1984 The book was banned in Pakistan because there were lines describing Jinnah's dietary habits which Wolpert refused to take down Wolpert in his book describes a subject which is Jinnah as follows Few individuals significantly alter the course of history few are still modify the map of the world Hardly anyone can be credited with creating a nation state Muhammad Ali Jinnah did all three The book gives an insightful peek into Jinnah the person and his thinking the transformation from Muhammad Ali Jinnah by Punja to Muhammad Ali Jinnah Portraying Jinnah's story in all of its human complexity Wolpert goes on to show Jinnah's shrewd and skillful leadership combined with a singular tenacity towards the creation of a muslim nation which is pakistan so if you can lay your hands on this banned book it's certainly worth a read before i go on to the second book i will briefly talk about the author stanley wolpert stanley albert wolpert was an american historian and indologist well known within pakistan for his four books on the country which predictably became controversial by clashing with the potted national canon he taught at the university of california los angeles from 1959 to 2002 and was u class professor emeritus thereafter born in 1927 in brooklyn new york to russian jewish parents wolpert served as an engineer in a ship and arrived in mumbai india for the first time in 1948 gandhi had just died and wolpert was greatly affected by the outpouring of grief over his death at the hands of a hindu nationalist he witnessed thousands of indians mourning his death by rushing to touch his ashes as they were taken away for scattering into the sea on returning home wolpert abandoned his career in marine engineering for the study of indian history getting a phd from the university of pennsylvania in 1959 and that's how i come to the second book the second book is called 9 hours to rama nine hours to rama the book is a fictional narrative set in the nine hours in the life of nathuram godse that led up to his assassination of mohandas karamchand gandhi in this book nathuram is painted as a womanizer which is opposite of the truth nathuram was a known celibate unmarried with a lifestyle of an semi ascetic barring gandhi his killer nathuram godse and godse's accomplice apte all other characters names were fictitious it attempted to imagine circumstances of godse's life from the beginning that supposedly pushed him towards such a violent act it also indicated probable neglect by the indian government in saving the mahatma 57 years after india banned the book nine hours to rama a fictional account on mahatma gandhi's assassination by hindu extremist nathuram godse the story of its censorship remains relevant then government rather than nehruvian government and its ordinary citizens differing attitudes towards nine hours to rama reflect our complicated relationship with censorship which exists to this day i can only say if you are able to get a hands on this particular book it can only be outside the country and not within the country because it is banned in india <laughs>